excited. Yes, I'm excited. Okay, okay, I'll be in soon. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, bye. Uh, you you read Testikova, the Russian writer. The guy who was in the gulag. Yeah, um, Pandas publishing its new book, and I'm gonna be working on it. <laughs> Lipman and I are gonna go to the airport on Thursday and pick him up in the limousine. You wanna borrow Golden Boy? Oh. Do you know what this means? It's like working with Tolstoy. Hey, you know, I, I did an unbelievable thing about Tolstoy the other day. Did you know that the original title for War and Peace was War? What is it good for? Ha 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 ha. No, no, I'm not kidding, Elaine. It's true. His mistress didn't like the title and insisted that the change into War and Peace. <coughs> But it's a line from that song. That's where they got it from. Really? I'm not joking. You can handle the truth. <laughs> what? I'm working on my job, Nicholson. You can handle the truth. <laughs> What is this? Your mail? Yeah, I know. I grab it here on the way out. I don't want my mother reading it. Reading it. Ah, reading it. <laughs> oh, your alumni magazine. Your mother is your mail? Yeah. What do you mean like postcards on? No. Ain't. She doesn't open? She'll open. You quote your, your mother opening envelopes. Yes. What did he say? What did she say? I was curious. Isn't it against the law? <gasps> uh, maybe I can get a look at it. Oh. Hi, Jerry. You're in the Alumni magazine. Listen to this. Jerry Seinfeld has appeared on the David Letterman and the Tonight Show, and he did a pilot for NBC called Jerry. What was not, uh, what was not picked up, Georgie? How come there is not anything about you in here? He can't handle the truth. All right. Uh, this is not, this is sorry, this is too much fun. I can't get back to work. Okay, very good. Um, let me see. Everin, did you watch the video? Yes, uh, the other days. The other day, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I forgot the uh, meaning. You forgot the situation. Yes. <laughs> okay, because your reading was very fast, but your acting was terrible. Alexander's a better actor than you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let me go back to Jinnam. Did he bring it up in the meeting? Did he bring it up in the meeting? Good. I should have made this bigger. Sorry. One more time. Did he bring it up in the meeting? Did they bring it up in the meeting? Very good. Sounds really good. Thank you. Let me go to Evren. Six years I've had this t-shirt. Six years I've had this t-shirt. Yeah, you have to emphasize because usually this sentence would be, I've had this t-shirt for six years. But he wants to emphasize. So, six years I've had this t-shirt. Six years I've had this t-shirt. Great job.
But see, look at the collar. But see, look at the collar. There you go. Keep it separate. Keep it separate. But see, look at the collar. That's the idea, okay? But see, look at the collar. Good. I assume you're doing this, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Jin Hong, read this. Uh, suck in the sink? Suck in the sink? It's terrible. Soak in the sink. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. Soak in the sink. Good. Why don't you just let Golden Boy soak in the sink? Why don't you just let Golden Boy soak in the sink? Very good, very good. Yuri Testikov. Yuri Testikov. Good. Let me ask Alexander. Alexander, is there such a name as Yuri Testikov? Is that a Russian name? No, it is not a real name, but uh, they are speaking about uh, existing man. And his surname was Solzhenitsyn. Solzhenitsyn, aha! So they're speaking about him. I think yes. <laughs> but the name is too difficult to pronounce. It, yeah, it <laughs> is. It is. Very very difficult. Solzhenitsyn. <laughs> great, great. Uh, let me go back to Evren. The guy who was in the gulag? The guy who was in the gulag? There you go. And you know, Pendant's publishing his new book. Pendant's new uh, Pendant's publish his new book. Get the ing. Pendant's publishing his new book. Pendant's publishing his new book. Book, book. Book, book. Very good, very good. You got to practice these things. And both of you, intonation for Evren and Jin Hong. So I'll do uh, Jin Hong's lines first. But it's a line from that song. That's, That's where they got line. it from. Wait, wait, I'll do them both. But it's a line from that song. That's where they got it from. So one more time, Jin Hong and Evren. But it's a line from that song. That's where they got it from. Okay. Intonation, much, much better. Pronunciation is fine. Intonation. Uh, 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 George's line. I grabbed it on the way out. Oh, Zuma's offline. Zuma's offline. Okay. Um, when she comes back, uh, I grabbed did. This is a tough one because there's lots of connection. Obviously, I grabbed it on the. I grabbed it on the way out. I grabbed it on the way out. Jin Hong, you want to try it? I grabbed it on the way out. One more time. I grabbed it on the way out. I grabbed it on the way out. Good. Ever, you want to try? I grabbed it in the way out. On, on. One more time. I grabbed it on the way out. Good. Alexander? I grabbed it on the way out. Try and link it. I grabbed it on the way out. I grabbed it on the way out. Not too bad. Not too bad. Chino, how do you read this word? Uh, alumni. No, it's not. <laughs> alumni. Uh, alumni. 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 There you go. Your alumni magazine. Your alumni magazine. Very good. And let me go back to Evren. What do you mean? Like postcards and... What do you mean? Like postcards and... Okay, good, good, good. And how do you read this word, Evren? Coat. Okay, that's better. Before, you, it sounded like coat. C O A T, but get that A W sound. Caught. Caught. You caught your mother. You caught your mother. Great job. Very good. Very good. And same thing here. Uh, this sentence again, Evren. Isn't it against the law? Law. L law. Yes. Yes. One more time. Isn't it against the law? Very good. Very good. Sulma, she's back. We'll get her, give her a chance to get her microphone on. Hold on a second. Hi, Zulma, can you hear me? 
Yes. <laughs> okay. I want you to say locked up. Locked up. Locked up. Good. Maybe I can get her locked up. Maybe I can get it locked up. Locked up. Locked up. Locked up. Say it. You got to say it fast. Otherwise, say it separately. Locked up. Lock up. Right. And if we say it fast, locked up. Locked up. No, sorry. Locked up. Good. Say it faster. Locked up. Locked up. Locked up. <laughs> you are speaking too slowly. You need to speak faster. <laughs> For your listening skills. This is a problem. <laughs> it is a problem, I know. Uh, <laughs> I'll pass. Okay, let's see. Jin Hong, did you learn? Read this, please. Uh, alumni magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> want to try, try again? Uh, alumni magazine. <laughs> alumni. Alumni. Alumni magazine. Very good. Very good. <laughs> David. David Letterman. David Letterman. Good. That was not picked up. That was not picked up. Get the knot. The knot is more important. That was not picked up. That was not picked up. No, same thing as Zulma. Locked up, picked up. <laughs> Locked up, picked up. There you go. Zulma. Locked up, picked oh. up. Oh, God. Uh, locked up, no. That was okay. No, no, no. Sorry about I have to practice before. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. This is a good chance. One more time. Picked up. Picked up. Picked up. Oh, okay, that's, it, no, that's good. That's good. It sounded good. It sounded good. Okay. Who has seen the movie A Few Good Men? Nobody? No. No. Wow. I do recommend the movie. If you have not seen it, I do recommend the movie. It's a good movie. Um, it's old, but it's a good one. Uh, and this is the very famous line from the movie. Does everybody know Jack Nicholson? No. Jin Hong, you don't know Jack Nicholson? No. What do you live in Switzerland? I I I know Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're very similar. They're very similar. This is Jack Nicholson. Can you see? Very similar to Michael Jackson. No, it's more. <laughs> Hannibal. Oh boy. Yeah, Jack Nicholson is a very famous actor um, from the 1970s um, uh, up to now. Very. He's got some really good movies. Good movies. Uh, okay, questions. I'll take questions. Questions from anybody? Uh, yeah, uh, Shane, I have a question about uh, son pronunciation. How do uh, pronounce it right? Son or song? S O N G? Yeah, song. Yeah. Or song. Le leave, the G leave that hanging G. Song. Song. It's an A W sound. Song. I like that song. Oh. Say it. I like that song. 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 Get more, get that mm, mm, song. song. I like that song. 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 Say, okay, say this. Uh, singing. Uh, singing. Mm, you got that G. Now, some people do keep the G. Right now, you're keeping the G, okay? Some people do, especially in the UK. You're, you're doing singing, 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 which is not wrong, 
But in America, it's not common. In America, we'll say singing, singing. Singing, singing. Yeah, singing. Go, go to the sing, 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 ying. Ying. Good. Ying. Good, sounds good. Singing. 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 Sounds Singing. better. So let's try the same thing. Song. 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 No, you get the A-W. Saw. 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 Good. And then from there, keep the mouth the same. Song. Song. You're changing your lips. Song. 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 You're, can you see your, you're moving your mouth. Don't move your mouth. Song. Song. You're, you're moving your jaw. Do you see yourself? Yeah, I see. Yeah. So do this. Do this. Do this. And push hard. Song. Song. Okay. Song. Song. Ong. Song. Song. Perfect. So the next time you meet an American, what's your favorite song? What is your favorite song? No, song. you moved your jaw. Song. Song. <laughs> that's better. I need that, practice. Yeah, that's right. It, it does take practice. Get the AW. That was good. More questions. And another word about a color. Is it frying or is it frying? Ah, fraying. Yes, yeah, so fraying. Fraying. Fray. Fraying. 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 It's just like playing. Playing. Fraying. Fraying. Or praying. Fraying. 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 Good. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. More questions. Uh, Shane, uh, can you tell us the uh, quote one more time? Uh, Which one? Quote. Quote. quote uh, ah, caught. Yeah. Yes. One more. C a u g h t c o a t c u t. I'll give you three words. Caught. Coat. Cut. I'll look straight at the camera. Caught, coat, cut. Caught, cut. I'll, I'll make a sentence. Mm. <laughs> we'll do that. I caught my coat and cut my cot. <laughs> I caught my cot and cut my cot. What? I caught my cot and cut my cot. Okay, so the first three were good. This is an ah. Uh, <clears throat> cot, cot, cot. Cot. So here we have a uh, A W. Here we have a uh, O H. Here we have a UH and here we have a AH. A, O, A, A. A, O, A, A. So these two are a little bit long. These can be long sounds. They, the sound can go for a long time. And these are a little bit tougher. It comes from a, a quick breath of air. So these are going to be lengthwise shorter. Ah, uh, o, a, uh, ah. Uh. Caught, coat, cut, cot. Can you try again, Evren? Caught, cut, cut. Say it again. Cut. Coat. Caught, caught, cut, cut. 
That sounded really good. It, can you hear the difference? When you say it, can you yeah. hear the difference? Yes. Good. Good. That's the most important. Now it's practice. Okay. Uh, one more question. Yeah. Uh, Shane. Uh, happen to know what does that mean? I happen to know that uh, Alex has a new car. So, I happen to know means basically uh, by chance or somebody told me. Um, maybe Alex didn't tell me, but somebody else told me. Um, so, so this, this is the idea. It really depends on the situation. Can you give me an example sentence? Uh, I don't know, but uh, you, you you just said the uh, the, the other days the uh, DDM. Uh, I think it's explanation section. Uh -huh. uh, you you did the uh, I happen to know, but I don't I don't remember the which DDM. Oh, that's too bad. If uh, do you watch DDM at home at the office on your mobile phone? How do you watch DDM? Uh, at home, uh, my uh, computer. Ne next time, if you see something like that, write down the time, like, you know, 25 minutes, 30 seconds. And then, do you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, but uh, it's necessary to try to find uh, which DDI. Yeah, in the future, in the future, in the yes. future. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do, a as you probably know, I do not have a script for the lessons, so um, I, I I cannot search. Uh, but I would like to I would like to know what I said. Does anybody else remember by any chance? Uh, there is no uh, on the script. Uh, you, you explain the uh, uh, event. Uh, there is no script uh, because of that you cannot find the uh, this. Uh, explanation this uh, sentences yeah yeah it's on it's on your explanation your uh, speaking uh, okay there's no on the uh, script I was talking about secrets uh, scripts yes uh, I try to uh, send an email okay uh, yeah that would be great okay. more questions Alexander, what is the oldest t-shirt or jacket that you have? Well, maybe just five years old. <laughs> Nothing. I have underwear older than your t-shirts. <laughs> Evren, Evren, what about you? What is your oldest t-shirt? Well, oldest t-shirt... Mm. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oldest. What about your oldest tie? You were a tie, right? Oh, oldest tie. Uh, in the college, uh, in uh, college, uh, I have a uh, the oldest tie. Uh, so fifteen years. College. Yes. Yes. About fifteen it's years. A, but but it's it's a big. Uh, it's a big. It's a big. Big style. Uh, yeah. Yes. Big style. <laughs> Well, don't throw it away because maybe that style will come back. Yes. <laughs> Jin Hong, what is your oldest T-shirt? Never. <laughs> You're a trendy person. Every year you buy new clothes. Yeah, right. Man. Hi, Yuka. Hi, Yuka. Hi. Long time no see. Yes, long, long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. We're glad to have you. Thank you. I'm Yuka, glad to be here. Yuka, how old is your oldest t-shirt? I don't know, but my t-shirts are very old. <laughs> <laughs> For more than 10 years? Maybe. Maybe. Good. Good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Zuma, what about you? What's your I oldest t-shirt? No, I haven't. 
You and J Jin Hong are the same. What about Why not? What about Alberto? Does he have an old t-shirt? Oh, yes. <laughs> he does. <laughs> <laughs> How old is his oldest t-shirt? I don't know. Maybe he has... One. From high school? I know. Maybe, I don't know, 10 years? I 10 guess. years? Yeah, I'll, maybe. I'll yeah, find I'm out tomorrow. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was... I was going through my clothes and I have uh, one t-shirt from 1987 and I have another t-shirt, the one I showed you from 1991 and then I have a jacket from 1983. Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the jacket's really nice. One day, maybe I'll show you the jacket. I like the jacket. I bought the jacket in high school. <laughs> <laughs> the sad thing is, it still fits me. I did not get bigger. <laughs> oh, that's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I have a jacket older than Zuma. <laughs> <laughs> Zuma, down below, there's a, when you type the message, uh, there's something that says everybody's name, Evren, Jinhong, Yuka, Zulma, Alexander, Shane. Uh, click on the all, A-L-L, -L, and then everybody can see the, the chat. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I have clothes older than my students. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander, what year were you born? Yeah, 87. 87. I've got a t-shirt almost as old as you and a jacket older than you. <laughs> I'll show you the t-shirt. I want to brag now. Do I have it? Yeah, I have it. Okay. Yeah, no, I can't find it. Sorry. <laughs> Next time. It's from the 1988. It's from the 1988 Olympics. So that means I got it in 1987. Yeah, it would be 1987. How does it look like? Like hippie t-shirts? <laughs> no, it. Um, hold on a second, damn it! I'm gonna... <laughs> it's a great shirt. Come on, where are you? Why are you hiding? Oh, I'm not gonna be able to... You guys are making me work and I can't get anything done, yeah. No, no, it looks really good. It's not fraying. It's a cycling. It's for cycling, for bicycling. So it looks pretty good. Next time, I'll, I'll try and wear it in uh, the uh, maybe the explanation video. <laughs> it is very interesting. <laughs> shot, which is as old as me. Yep, and it, it and it, it's very healthy, just like you. <laughs> yeah, we can take some my who's in better state. Me or a t-shirt. I think the t-shirt will disappear eventually. Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah, Seinfeld, not too bad. We just started, obviously, um, this episode, and I guarantee uh, you, uh, you will enjoy this episode. It's very funny. It's some very good stuff. I'm going to go over to DDM78, which was about the memory guy, the memory master. And so what we're going to do with this is... Uh, I'm just going to have everybody read a line. So some lines are really short. So we'll start with uh, uh, Evren. You just get that. And then Jinong, and then Yuka, and then Zulma, and then Alexander. You wrote your name in Russian, so it's at the end. So you have to, the fifth line. <laughs> and we'll go back and forth like that, okay? Yeah. All right, so starting with Evren. 
Go for it. Oh, Evan might be busy. Evan, might your microphone is off. Might be busy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh... Okay, I think I'm. Uh, are you done, Davy? Day, Dave. How many walls did you, did we get? We got ten. There were ten. Ten walls. Everett. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven. I have seven. Okay. That's pretty good. Let's see. I don't know if they are all. Uh, but we have the same ones. Field, shoe, book, table, banana, wallet. You wrote shoe twice. You wrote shoe twice. You wrote, you wrote book twice. I wrote book twice. That's outstanding. Good job. Are we hopeless? No, no. So, what was your method? I mean, you were probably just... Searching from... I, I have to read all of those. Yes, you have to read everything. Quit um, complaining. One more time. That. <laughs> all right, okay. No, no. So what? What's your method? I mean, you were probably just searching from what you remember. Maybe you have, ah, maybe you hear or something like that. How, How you do you the world? world? Alexander, one more time. Uh, how in the world? Yeah. And um, this uh, this greatly trying to remember. That's about the average that maybe people can do about six or seven items. If we keep repeating, uh, if we keep repeating, we. Get out to so what was the secret? So you will do what? So the technique I use count of two is a two flow. The first is to count of turn those words into really vivid pictures and then to store those pictures on count of a little journey around the place. So we could do around our space right here. So the first two words were wheel and shoe. Yes. What you do? I'll have Alexander do this one. Alexander. Uh, so I would picture this big wheel just smooshing uh, somebody's show, okay? And maybe there is a put inside and blood splurts everywhere, okay? So you have to make it really, really... Zulma. Uh, graphic? Zulma. In this one? This we one. Graphic, so this one. Maybe. This one. This one. This one. Wait, I can see. Ah, <laughs> graphic. 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 One more time. Yeah, okay, good, good. And then this one to Evren. Have done graphics? So, and maybe that's happening on the edge of the court. That okay? If you could picture a wheel just rolling over the shoulder, okay? And then maybe. On your lap, okay. We we're, we're gonna in kind in kind of this order. Ah, oh, the next two words are gonna be book and banana. So maybe you have a book. You can picture a book on your lap. You open it and there is a disgusting rotten banana. Okay. You can just smell that rotten banana. Okay. So we have those four items. So we're gonna have to we uh, wrap up soon. But the point is to make them really. Almost disgusting or graphic image scales they stick in your mind better. The best ones that stick are the ones that are kind of repulsive. Sexual sometimes gets. 
We can wait to hear more about this as the break. More thoughts and phrase in two minutes. Remember to stay here. All right, very good. Let me go back to the beginning. I hope you remember who you are. Um, Evren, <laughs> this number. Three. This word. Three. Three. Good, good. Concentrate <laughs> on the TH. One more time. Three. Three. Sounds better. You can make the TH stronger. Tree, three. Tree, three. Tree, three. One more. Three, three. Much better, much better. I think this was Jin Hong? Maybe not. Let's see. So that was Evren, Jin Hong, Yuka, Zulma. Zulma, can you see the screen? Zulma, I want you to say, that's pretty good. Hmm, Zulma, can you say something? I can't, uh, you can't hear well. Okay. Uh, Zulma, I want you to say this sentence. That's pretty good. No? I guess we can't hear Zuma. She has a bad connection today. Uh, lots of people got caught on the double O's. It's a uh or an oo. So remember, good, good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. This one was Evren, I remember. Evren, this word again? Banana. Good. Banana. 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 Nana. Nana. Banana. That, that's right. American pronunciation, banana. Banana. Perfect. Uh, I don't know who this was. Who was this? This was before. This was Zulma again. Uh, maybe, ah, yes. Uh, Zulma, if you can hear me, just be careful with the Y. You had the J sound earlier, so don't get that. Maybe you've heard. Maybe you've heard. Okay. This is a tough one. This is actually a question, um, but he didn't finish it. So the, the tone is the same as this. How on earth? Oops. So the question, the tone is, how in the world? How on earth, Alexander? How in the world? How on earth? There you go. That's right. That's right. Jin Hong, desperately. Desperately. Good. So the pronunciation is like des spritly. Desperately. Desperately. There you go. Desperately trying to remember. Desperately trying to remember. Very good. And Yuka. Oh, Zulma, are you there? Yes. Yes. Ah, Zulma, say this one again. I don't say that. Ah, <laughs> maybe you've heard. I'll put it in the chat. Maybe you've heard. Maybe you've heard. Very good. Be careful with the J. Maybe you, be careful yeah. with the Y, J, okay? Okay. And let me go back maybe to you. Maybe. Go ahead. You. Okay. Very good, very good. That sounds much better. Let me go to Yuka. This word. Average. Very good. So the perfect pronunciation is average, but Americans almost always say average. Average. 
All right. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, this would have been, ah, this is Zuma. If we keep repeating wheel, if we keep repeating wheel, I'll put it down here. There you go. If we keep repeating wheel. Good. Repeating. Repeating. Re repeating. Make sure the accent goes on the P. If we, if we keep repeating wheel. If we keep repeating wheel. Repeating wheel. Repeating wheel. Very good. Very good. Good. Uh, this would be Alexander. So what's the secret? So what's the secret? Yeah, that S, that, that's a tough one. What's the? What's the? Uh, so what's, uh, what's uh, the secret? V good, let's say it together. So what's the secret? So what's the secret? One more time. Uh, so what, what's the secret? Okay, so the problem is you're trying to keep the S or the T. So let's do this. Whoops. Whoops, what the heck? What's the? What's the? Uh, I see. So what's the secret? Uh, Good. More S. What's the? What's the secret? So what, what's the secret? Uh, much better. Much better. Good job. And Evren, you would do what? You would do what? Yeah, you would do what? You would do what? Great job. Jin Hong, it's twofold. It's twofold. Good. Jin Hong, try this. Um, store those pictures and kind of a little journey. Good. Now, much better. Kind of a. Kind of a. Kind of a. Kai. Kai. Kind of a. Kai. Kind of a. Not kind of a. You sound like a <laughs> southern lady down south in Texas. Store those pictures on kind of a little journey. Do you want to speak like a Texan lady? No. Then you try one more time, please. Store those okay, pictures sir. on kind of a little journey. Uh, store this picture on can uh, on 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 kind of on on kind of on 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 Store these pictures on kind of a little journey. Sounds better. Sounds better. Thank you. Alexander. Smooshing. Now this is the uh. Smushing. 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 Just smushing somebody's shoe. 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 Yeah, this is tough because we got a uh, uh, Just. and ooh. Just smushing somebody's shoe. Just smoo smooshing somebody's shoe. Very good, very good. Foot. 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 It's short, the same thing here. Foot. Smush. Foot. Smush. Foot. 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 Make the sound go down. Foot. Foot. Good. Food. And there is a food, food inside. Uh, Try this sentence. Okay, Steve. I like food, uh, food. No. Food. I like food, foot, uh, food. food. Watch my lips, watch my lips. I like foot, food. I like foot, food. I like foot, food. Good, that was good. Have you have you ever had foot food? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know meaning of foot food. Well my imagination would be in America we eat this. Pig's feet. Do you eat pig's feet in Russia? Sometimes you know. Yeah. 
pickled uh, pickled foot food. Exactly, pickled foot food. <laughs> Good job. But but in China we eat uh, chicken feet. Oh yes, in Korea too. I've had it. Oh, it's a delicious. Yeah, you. And then you have to sit oh, in no. the bone though. No, Sam. Before we eat, the restaurant is open separate. Oh, I prefer with the bones. Mm, no. Oh, you got maybe. Yeah, I'm sorry. We have we have we're talking about foot food, so we need to see good foot food. <laughs> Shane, I am eating lamb's foot. You eat lamb's feet. There you go. Yes. It's, uh, like, like a soup, 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 soup. Yeah. Is it good? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's delicious. You bet. Chicken feet are delicious too. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lamb feet soup. Put these pictures on yeah. your Facebook. Put the pictures on Facebook. There you go. Here you go. Look at that. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and pig's feet are very common. Pig's feet. Oh, yes. There you go. Pickled pig's feet. Get a big jar. <laughs> ah, yes. Foot food. <laughs> okay, let me go back. Ah, uh, I think this was Jin Hong. This sentence again. If you could picture a wheel just uh, rolling over the shoe there, it's not me. Who was it? <laughs> uh, it's me. Ah, I have If you could picture a wheel just rolling over the shoe there. Much better. A wheel or a wheel? Wheel. 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 Good. Be careful with the V. If you could if you could picture a wheel. If you could picture a wheel. Good, good. A disgusting rotten banana. A disgusting rotten banana. Yeah, that's right. Now this is a glottal stop. We gotta stop right there. Rotten. Rotten. R rotten. Perfect. Rotten. This one was Jin Hong. Graphic image. Uh, graphic image. Images. Images. Good, good. And this was Yuka. The best ones that stick. The best ones that stick. Good. Now once again, this is and Alexander has a tough time here too with the Z and the TH. So here the T is gone. We can just get rid of the T. The best ones. The best ones. Ones that. Ones that. Good. So the Z is more important than the TH. So the TH, the faster we say it, disappears. The best ones that stick. The best ones that. The best ones that stick. Okay, that's right. You got to get that Z sound, and that's tough. Ones that, ones that, ones that. That's good. But remember, try, try and keep this a Z, and try and make a Z sound over here too. So you want, whoops, you want kind of like two Z sounds. So ones that, ones that, ones that, ones that. One's that. One's that. One's that. That's right. Best ones that stick. The, the best ones that stick. The best ones that stick. Sounds better. It sounds better. This is tough. This the S T H cancellation. For many students, is tough. It's tough. And this was Zulma. Yeah. Fox. Fox and friends. 
thoughts. That's right. Thoughts on friends. There you go. There you go. It's not folks. It's box. So yeah. Okay. Very good. Lots of little pronunciation things. And like I tell you, I think reading the material is not too bad. It's the pronunciation. So you really need to speak as much as possible. You need to practice. So listen to me and practice. Say it with me. And if you have a chance, uh, join uh, hangouts with other people also. It's very important to speak as much as you can, uh, to have as many chances uh, that you can to speak. So, you know, if, you're, if you have time and you're on the Internet, uh, you have 10 minutes, just go to Let's Master English and say, hey, uh, you know, Yuka, are you there? Or Alexander, are you there? Do you have 10 minutes? And just practice. Uh, you don't have to worry about correcting each other. But speaking, speaking and, and, and listening, okay? Because everybody has studied this section, so you should be able to, I, I really want you to practice as much as possible. Okay? Mm -hmm. Evren never joins Hangouts, right, Evren? And Alexander, too. No, Evren John tonight to hang out with us. Evren. You're awesome. Alexander, what's your problem? I uh, have a few time and it's difficult to find the time to participate. Uh, well, you have a girlfriend, so after you get married, you will have lots of time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, I sometimes speak um, at my work with my colleagues because but there are a lot of French colleagues with French accent and... It is, it is a problem, the French English, it is a problem? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds uh, exactly like you. Yes, it is very... I can understand, but it's sometimes not too good. No, a little bit exaggerated. <laughs> hamburger? Hamburger? I like the McDonald's hamburger. <laughs> If you, will you go to the something like that? Not will you, but will you? Will you? Will you? Yes. Will you? Will you send me an email? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, actually, Alexander, it's still even though they're French or wherever they're from, the the important thing is speaking and building your confidence. And then, when you're not sure about a pronunciation come to me. Go to our videos or write it down and, and when we have a hangout, ask me. And it, it takes lots of practice, like the song and the singing. Okay? We'll work on that ING. I'll be listening for your ING in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you can do the ing. Sing. Ing. Singing. Singing. It's just practice. It's just practice. Okay? Yeah. I need a lot of practice. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm here to help you, damn it. <laughs> Questions? Should we look at more foot food? <laughs> yeah, this is a... Uh, and you know, Shane, tail food. Another term, tail food. Ta what's that? Ta tail, tail food. Ooh. Tail? <laughs> Tail food? Yeah, exactly. Oh, I like, like, oxtail, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, they do, no, oxtail is good. Oxtail soup. Mmm, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Fantastic. Look at that. There's a tail for you. Is it American or Uh this this one here would looks like it's American. Uh in, they also have it in Korea. Uh I don't know which one of these would be Korean. Probably oh, I'm on the Russian Google. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh yeah, Korean. So Korean pops up. Oxtail soup in Korea is really good. Very tasty. 
Um, let's see, uh, America. Do we have an American recipe? I guess this, this, yeah, this looks like American. It's good. Do you eat it in Russia? No, no. No. No, no at all. Only, you know, pig's tails, uh, pickled pig's tails. The... So cute. <laughs> what about, oh, what about pig's ears? Ooh. Yeah. And pig's ears. Delicious. But not often, uh... Very fine. A box of pig's ears. Mmm. <laughs> it's, it's very popular in Spain. How do you eat them in Spain? Or how do they eat them in Spain? Pardon? How do they cook them? Um, uh, I don't know. One friend from Spain um uh, prepared a special pig. Oh yeah. Um, Anti, yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I, never, I, I never. really like I really like cow's tongue. Mm. Ah. Um, cow's tongue I sandwich. Know. Look at that. <laughs> Shane, do you like your chicken hearts? Yes, I was just going to say I love chicken hearts. I really do. <laughs> These are delicious. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Alexander, do you eat chicken hearts? Yeah, sometimes. If you go but to a the, Brazilian the, barbecue, they have the best chicken hearts. <laughs> Yuka, you look like you're sick. <laughs> You turn your microphone on. Your microphone is off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Delicious stuff. Oh. <laughs> I don't. You don't like it yet. It is. I do like it though. It really is good. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing. Nothing too weird. Chicken hearts, cows' tongues, pigs' feet. That's okay. Ox tail. <laughs> Jin Hong, in China they have lots of interesting food. Ah, you know, Shen, in China people eat everything. Uh, <laughs> incredible. Yeah, for me, uh, something is, is uh, incredible. I, I can't uh, accept it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if you have a billion people, you have to find food somewhere. <laughs> yeah, but, but for me, it's really strange. For Chinese, they don't really uh, like sticks, beef, or pork, but they do prefer the, the hearts or... The weird uh, thing, the liver. Yeah, it, it, yeah it, it, incredible for me. Mm. <laughs> well, you can say this. Okay, he can have the chicken feet... I'll have the chicken breast, thank you. <laughs> and they'll say, oh, you like the, the, the cheap chicken, fine. <laughs> <laughs> More questions about anything, I'm here for you. As any, now, if you look at the Let's Master English uh, community, uh, we do have, uh, who was it? Here's somebody who wants to join. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'll make this bigger. Daniel, yeah, here we go. Daniel uploaded a video here, uh, and this is about how to uh, memorize. And this this video, it's actually kind of a confusing video. But anyway, the video talks about exactly what we studied. Um, imagining an image and then making a journey and putting it on the journey. And Alex, I'm sorry, Daniel has been doing this and he's pretty successful. He says he's improved his memory by using uh, such a method. So 
I think it's pretty interesting. Um, where did it go? Pretty amazing stuff. Does anybody want to improve their memory to memorize a deck of cards? I would love, for me, I would love to be able to remember people's names. I'm really terrible at remembering people's names. Uh, that's my weak thing. Everin, are you good at remembering people's names? I think I asked you last week. Not always, but uh, I cannot. Uh, I um, I don't remember the uh, person's face, but I forgot the name. But uh, generally, uh, I can remember the face. Yeah, you can remember the face, but not necessarily yes. the name. Yes. Yeah. They do have books on on how to improve uh, your memory. So uh, yeah, especially for learning a language. Uh, learning new vocabulary, it might actually be very beneficial. It's true. Now, Yuka, you have your new job working at the airport, speaking English all the time. Uh, has your English improved? No, not really. <laughs> I think it has, Yuka. Uh, I hope so. Yeah, it, you sound more confident. Uh, your sentences are more natural. Mm, I don't know about it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's true. Do you like the work? Oh, yes, I like it a lot. Good. The pay is really good? Not good. Not good. <laughs> what about your co-workers? Are they okay? Oh, they are nice. That's good. Nice That's good. People. And the guests, the uh, the foreigners, are they nice or are they sometimes like George? <laughs> yes, some people get angry easily. Yeah. <laughs> but hmm, most of all, they are good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, Shane, um, when when I, when I went to uh, the Chicago uh, three years uh, ago, uh -huh. but I understand. I understand the. Uh, I don't know English. <laughs> After going to Chicago, then you realized, I don't know English. Uh, I noticed. Uh, I I don't know English. <laughs> you know, Shane, I have the same feedback from my friend who had a holiday on the east coast of uh, U U.S. New York, uh, Florida. He returned and said, no, I don't know any English. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Well, I guarantee, I guarantee you, uh, both of you guys, uh, after, by, by studying Seinfeld and by studying uh, with me, if you go back to uh, the East Coast, or if your friend goes back, uh, they'll definitely be much more confident. We have a student, Jose. Uh, he's a, a doctor from Argentina. And Jose went to Chicago about two weeks ago. And, and he, he said his confidence level was so much higher. Um, he was able to understand people much easier. And he was also very excited because he saw a gyro stand. Remember, we studied about the gyro. Yeah. So, uh, so he was really happy about his trip, and he was happy that, uh, that he's taking the classes. So, so Everin, don't worry. I guarantee your English is much better than it was two years ago. The key, the key is, though, um, you know, studying the DDM lessons alone is good. But having the chance to speak is so important. It's really, really important. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Everin, when is the next time you'll go to America? Uh, maybe uh, January uh, 11. Oh, that's great. Wow. Yes, Florida. In Florida.